How are you feeling? You got John Riggs here with about seven things to unbox today in today's unboxing video. I'm flying solo today. I'm doing this while my kids are in school. Um, we just did an unboxing video not too long ago. Um, however, between then and now, I received a few more packages and I didn't want to wait until February to do like kind of what's it never intended to be a monthly unboxing video, but it's become kind of an un a monthly unboxing video. However, um, there's a couple of things here that I wanted to open immediately. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I'm gonna record this now, and um, and we'll go from there. All right, so so bear with me. But we do have another thing from Intellivision, our friends at Intellivision. Um, not too long ago, they sent me a um, a hat and like a hoodie, and um, you can see the tip of it right here. I still haven't hung it up yet. That's how terrible I am. I'll I'll at least place it right there. How about that? No, you can't even see that. Not in the video. Anyway, it looked like that. I. Uh, I just gotta make another hole in the wall, I guess, you know. Um, put a box like this, and it already says what it is on the outside, and it is one of these. Oops, it's upside down. And it looks like, does it heat up? You can kind of see the Intellivision logo. I wonder if it heats up. Hmm, we'll, we'll, we'll find out. I'm not gonna do it right now, but we'll find out in another video. I just wanna, I wanna kind of breeze through this, just for the purpose of getting this done. This is from, I wasn't expecting this. From 505 Games. 505 Games. It might be a promotional thing? Maybe it's a new game, I don't know. It says, look at this. Blah. Journey to the Savage Planet. Came with a golden envelope. I'm curious. Sometimes, <laughs> It may it may be a new game for Steam or something like that. Sometimes you know they'll re they'll release these and they'll have it be kind of a cool thing. And I like it when they do stuff like that. So it's just a, a basic letter. I'm not going to read the whole thing. <clears throat> but dear Pioneer, uh, insert name, um, all of us here at Kindred Aerospace, the fourth best interstellar exploration company, as voted by your peers, um, could I have been more excited to excited decision to join us on this exciting journey to a savage planet. And it goes on. Um, it, basically in kayfabe letting you know that you have you have been selected to visit the savage planet and inside we have uh <laughs> what's uh you yeah, add this to your water and it's like you know because tang was the what astronauts drank uh this is what your uh, kindred aerospace drinks apparently that is hilarious that is too funny magnet it looks like yikes who's this guy <laughs> I'm I'm out of the loop. Oh, I'm covering his name here. Uh, this is a Mart Martin Tweed, Martin Tweed CEO. Oh, here I'm making fun of the CEO, Martin Tweed. We both have kind of the, we kind of have the same hair if you think about it. Look at that. My hair's getting kind of long there. I'm growing it out for a cosplay. If you're wondering, not that you're wondering. We oh my goodness gracious! It came with a disc. I I don't have a computer handy to pop this in, but I do have uh, I do have a computer that would run this, so I'm. Curious to see. Actually, this this may be the code, or this may be the game itself on here. I don't know. Interesting to see. And then we have probably a bobblehead. I could be completely wrong too. Maybe it's a ceramic something or other. I don't know. But we have. See, it's just fun when they do stuff like this. It's just like you know, you know. Sometimes you just get an email. It's like, hey, please check out my game. Here's the code or whatever. But when these, they do something like this. I almost feel a little bit more compelled. It's like you, you put you put in so much work and effort. Yeah, it looks like a bobblehead. Oh, that's hilarious. That is too funny. Here, I'll take I'll take it out of the package here. Nicely done. Great quality on this. Oh boy, how oh too much coffee. <laughs> Martin Tweed, CEO. That button is not a button. It just looks like it's a button. It doesn't do anything though. Um, very interesting, and I thank you very much, uh, 505 Games. Curious about your uh, kindred aerospace uh, journey to the savage planet. Um, and there's and there's no code, which is fine, but what a buildup. And again, it might be on the disc, too, I guess. Um, but consider this, like this is, consider this like if you're in sales or marketing and you want to get the word out there, instead of, like, you can send emails all day for free, but invest a little bit and do something like this and um man they're they're gonna notice Pe people will notice 
I used to do that with resumes when I'd like um, apply for jobs. You know, anybody can apply to, uh, apply for a job by sending an email. But you know, send them your resume in a in a DVD case or a video game case. Have the have the uh, box art look like you know you're in the video game, even if you're not. You know, they'll appreciate the creativity. And I pr I'm pretty sure you'll get more responses back than not. I hear you. Interesting. Thank you, 505 Games. Funny that. We have... What's this here? This is... Oh, another thing from Kiwi. Kiwi sent me some uh, VR stuff recently. And these are Oculus Quest and Riff touch controller knuckle straps. Touch controller knuckle straps. Interesting. Um, I do love my Oculus Quest. So I'm going to... I'll give these a go. I'm going to do a video on Kiwi um, sometime here in the near future. Just as a... Um, just, oh, there's another thing from Kiwi? Kiwi design headband. So, another head strap for your Quest. Probably much more comfortable than the default one that it comes with. Interesting. All right, looking forward to trying both of those then for sure. Fantastic. Fantastic, if you will. And then... Oh, we already saw that. So I'm going to put the Kiwi stuff with the other Kiwi stuff. That's where that, that's where that came from. All right, we have a couple things left from, I don't know, I'll find out. Oh, oh interesting. There's a, one of those gift things. Hi, John, enjoy your gift from Matthew Hennigan. Oh, I know Matt. I know Matt. Matt's a... Uh, He's a huge, not just a huge supporter of my channel, but a huge supporter of a lot of channels. You might see Matt popping up here and there. Um, supporting a lot of channels, um, both with, like, hey, I noticed your channel, you need this. Or, hey, uh, you're talking about this game, you need it, here you go. Um, cool dude. Retired. Um, East Coast guy. Never met him, but chat with him all the time. He sent over, ooh, a, interesting, a digital controlled... Therm thermostatic soldering iron. Or is it soldering iron? I've heard both. I've been calling it soldering iron my whole life, but I think that the, the British pronunciation is soldering, which makes sense to me. I'll, I'll, I'll continue to say soldering iron just in case. Digital controlled thermostatic soldering iron. This is going to be handy. I mean, I, I have a, I have the other big old bulky hockey soldering iron, but for, for quick jobs or something like that, this might be the way to go. Thank you, dude. This is fantastic. I'm looking forward to trying this. I know it's been a while since I've done any open cart surgery videos. I've been kind of in a open cart surgery funk <laughs> by not having anything successfully successfully done here. But we have another box. It's a big old box. It looks like this. And oh dear lord, this more this more matte stuff. Receipt, receipt, receipt. Receipt. Enjoy your gift. Yeah, this is more matte stuff. All right, so he not only sent over the soldering iron, he sent over a plethora of looks like other soldering stuff? Tools, maybe? I opened this up in advance. I was curious about this. Oh, oh, they're wire clippers. So you can uh, get a tighter squeeze on your wire. Because my wires are all, all over the place. I'm, I'm more of the, like, hey, if it works, it works. But if you want it to make, look at nice and clean and all that, dude, thank you. He did send me a message uh, recently-ish saying like, hey, I saw your latest video and uh, I'm going to send you some stuff that might help. <laughs> and this might help. Oh, sure. The adjustable circuit board holder. I've seen these before. I've had one of these before. In fact, I think it's in the closet. <laughs> have to get another go. This is great, though. These are perfect. This is like, it lets you hold your soldering iron. So, oh, I'm not soldering iron. It holds your circuit board uh, at any angle so you can get the most accurate, you know, precision done. I usually just stack my soldering iron or stack my uh, circuit boards on top of like boxes or whatever just to get a closer view or whatever. This here is a uh, no clean wick. One of those things that I've had people in the comments saying, like, dude, how come you don't use that? I was like, I don't know. Am I supposed to? No one taught me how to solder. I just started doing it. 
Here's a uh, welding head cleaning station. These are super handy. If you're using soldering irons, they keep your tip clean. You wanna keep your tip as clean as possible. There's also some uh, flux there too, uh, which helps you uh, desolder stuff. I don't use flux. I'm supposed to, everyone else does. I never do. I bet these are tools and screwdrivers. Thank you, man. See you. My buddy went all out on things I didn't even know existed, like the rechargeable LED eyeglasses, bracket, headband, inter uh, interchangeable magnifier. This is like some Dr. Mario next level nonsense here. So I wear it? So I don't have to do the crazy eyes anymore? I like the crazy eyes. Maybe I do the crazy eyes with this. I can see better. Yeah, it looks like it just a... Uh, it's a, it's a, yeah, it's a, I'm, I'm curious to do this. I'm, I'm totally, I totally want to do this in the next video. Maybe in the next video, I'll use all of these in, in some capacity. We'll see. A ton of stuff. Well, Matt, I can't thank you enough. I mean, I can, <laughs> but in, in my heart, I can't. That is a lot of, a lot of tools. And uh, again, above and beyond and not necessary by any means, but I can't thank you enough. I think I already said that, um, but thank you so much. Looking forward to doing some more. See, and now I'm now I'm encouraged to do some more open cart surgery videos. To try to anyway, try to get some stuff working anyway if I can. We have a smaller package here. This is from doesn't say somewhere in Washington though. Oh, I do know what this is. Speaking of which, this is gonna be a, this is gonna be a, ah hey, drop the card. Oh, uh, <clears throat> I better grab the card just in case. I I I I I. Um, he did reach out to me saying, hey, I have, a, I have a game for you for open cart surgery. That doesn't look proper to me. Is it the PAL version? No, it says USA. I don't know. Maybe I just haven't seen GoldenEye in so long that I forgot what it looks like. He included this card, which looks like that. Interesting. I don't know. We'll, we'll, this, will be, this will be an open cart surgery video later on. But since I already pulled it out and kind of showed you. I'll do that. And I'll put this, I'll file this appropriately uh, right here. I won't fit. I'll put it right there. I'll put it right here. That way I know I won't lose it. Watch as I promptly lose it. All right. <clears throat> Final box is huge. Oy. Can't even lift it up. Uh, I already kind of opened it up, so I already kind of saw what it was. And it's, again, above and beyond, not what I expected. But holy moly, is there a bunch of stuff in here. Here's the box from Canada. Um, so my buddy Jim, I uh, know him on Twitter. Um, I was looking out for the Tim Bits cereal. It's a breakfast cereal that just came out in Canada, not in America, from Tim Horton. We don't have a Tim Hortons in America, so unless we do, then I'm not aware of it. Maybe on the border, I don't know. Um, but they made a Tim Bits, which is like their donut holes uh, cereal. Um, and he's like, dude, I got you. I'm going to send over a few things, too. He sent over uh, six kilograms worth of stuff. And shipping was not cheap. And he's like, oh, no, dude, it's, it's, I promise. It's, it's, it's fun for me. And uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to send you some Timbits. I'm going to send you a couple more things, too. He sent over a lot more than a couple things. And we'll go through, through, through these <laughs> right here. I'm going to place this over here so I don't drop it. All right, so we have the Timbits are at the bottom of the box, all right? He said he just started piling other stuff on top of it. Stuff that we don't have in the United States, probably, including Sonic Sour Cream Doritos. I'm not sure what makes it Sonic. Makes you rush to the restroom faster or something, I don't know. But Sonic Sour Cream, I'm not sure what Sonic Sour Cream is uh, for a limited time only. So limited edition Doritos already included. And if you thought uh, U.S. packaging... Yeah, the chip, the chips start like right there. That's all. That's all air. But it's supposed to do that because if they're all filled with chips, then the chips become soggy. You need that air to circulate. We have Maynard's. I know Maynard. Maynard's Swedish berries. These look so good. There's some weight to them too. Good lord. That's like some Swedish fish weight. Looking forward to checking those out. More potato chips. Oh god. We have the ketchup chips. Uh, my wife was interested in trying those. I'm not. I don't like. Ketchup. So I'm pretty sure I wouldn't like ketchup flavored things. This? Oh, these are already open. I picked it up. Stuff, stuff already spilled it out. Uh, it opened in shipping. That's okay. I'll, I'll eat these quickly. These are the, the dill pickle lays. Fun. My daughters love pickles. We have. Oh. 
This, these are the, the all-dressed ruffles. Um, we do have these every once in a while. Different packaging, of course. Um, but super good. Um, I, I prefer ruffles over overlays. This is Miss Vickery's, Miss Vicky's Sea Salt and Malt Vinegar. Miss Vicky's Sea Salt and Malt Vinegar. Bing! A lot of chips. Well, they're light, so that's probably the way to do it. Ha! <laughs> well, wouldn't be Canada without a without some uh, proper maple syrup here. Ingredients: one hundred percent pure maple syrup. See, and it doesn't it, it doesn't coagulate like a. Uh, see what I mean? It's like it's not like all syrupy <laughs> as uh, as the synthetic stuff that we usually use here in America, like Mrs. Butterworth and all that. What is this? Pull slice. No, full slice. Half slice. What? Rocky Mountain chocolate from uh, Burnaby, British Columbia. Fudge. It's maple fudge. This is, it's a big old chunk of maple fudge. Can't go wrong there, right? Oh, my dentist is going to love you for that. And then we have, wait, but wait, there's more. Oh my God. I'm not a huge fan of coffee or even coffee-flavored things. These may be the greatest candy bar in the world, right up there with Lion from the UK. Um, these are so good, and I, they're in the fun size. These will not last long, I'll, I promise you that. <laughs> but thank you so much. I was, I'm, ex I'm really excited about those, too. And, um, and then we have, again, with the above and beyond. Oh, wait, there's, there's more. There's more in here. Hold on. Before we get to the cereal, before we get to the cereal, there's more stuff that slid down the side here. Maynard's Juicy Squirts Berry. Oh my goodness. This is going to be a huge... We should do it... I almost want to do a taste test video, but I also don't want to open up everything all at once. There's so much stuff here. We have car, car milk? Caramel. Caramel. That's interesting. I love it. I love chocolate. I love I, I love chocolate and chocolate things. From, uh, from all over. Oh, we have Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. Oh, these, we do have these, but these are so good. This is going to be my breakfast right here. <laughs> there, yeah, if, um, if you're from another country or whatever, we have, talk about how Americans are, um, even though this came from Canada. Uh, this is Reese's Big Cup. This is their giant Reese's Peanut Butter Cups that have Reese's Pieces inside. And they're super, super good. I love Reese's Peanut Butter Cups, for sure. They might be my favorite. I have an old joke saying my kids have never tried one, even in Halloween, because I would always take their, steal the Halloween ones. You know, that was the tax, right? <laughs> so we have, hold on, let me grab it. Okay. Again, this is, this is why I was like, dude, that was, okay, so we have the 10-bit cereal. I'll just, I'll just show you here. We have the 10-bit cereal. There's a, kind of like birthday cake kind of flavored, looks like. And then we have the uh, chocolate uh, glazed. And uh, I'll, do, I'll do a separate video on these as soon as I can. And he not only sent over a box of each. I was like, that's all I was looking for. I just wanted a box of each to, uh, to try them out and taste test them and whatever. The dude sent over six boxes, three of each. A couple more of those. I'm sure they're good. So it's gonna save me the trouble of looking, save me the trouble of looking for more. So, uh, so Jim, I can't thank you enough. This is, like I said, this is above and beyond. I just, I was just talking about those. <laughs> and he just started filling it up with chips and stuff like that too. Oh my goodness gracious! So um, the, 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 the support is overwhelming, and um, and thank you, thank you very much, thank you for everything, and thank you for watching, and thank you for supporting. Watching is supporting. So even if you're not a Patreon, even if you don't send me stuff, you don't have to send me stuff. I do have my mailing address because oddly enough, people like sending us stuff. People will see my daughters and say, "Oh, your daughter talked about how she loves to send it. So I want to send her something, or whatever the case may be. You know, what's your address?" So it's there because people ask us for our address pretty frequently. <laughs> so check out the description. You'll see my mailing address there. It is not my home address. And um, and thank you for watching. And this was just a, a fun video of here's this stuff. And we'll do another unboxing video uh, coming up in February. And I thank you. That's all I can say. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Jim. Thank you, Matt. Uh, thank you, 505 Games uh, and more. Thank you.